La Cliniquita, they used to call it the little clinic. Um, it was where everybody went. Like I belong here. It feels good here. I love my coworkers. They are so, they're the best people I've ever met. I will say one thing about us here. We are all very family oriented. Here, people I notice are more genuine when I talk to them. Uh, more friendly, easier to approach. It's a family. We may fight, we may disagree, but we check on each other even after the clock stops. I had known the health center as the place that you would go to get tested for various illnesses, um, receive treatment, and they also had a focus somewhat on like substance abuse and recovery. I knew that they helped a lot of like underserved population, but I didn't know too much about it. Nothing at all. And I'm gonna be completely honest, I did not know we even had a health center here. <laughs> I wasn't familiar with them at all. I was kind of young. My mom knew about the community health center and what it provided. I am from the Dorchester area of Boston and I have six siblings. Um, so we all use the community health centers and my family to this day still use community health centers. When I told my mother that I got a job here, she was like, oh, Dr. Merwin used to be my doctor before he retired. I said, mom, he's not retired. He's still working here. And I introduced myself to Dr. Merwin, and he remembered my mom. I used to go to the health center for like physicals and checkups and stuff like that. But other than that, I didn't know anything. Like I wasn't really thinking about health centers, to be honest with you. <laughs> but um, yeah. When I started working here and I realized how much we were actually doing for our patients in comparison to a private practice office, right? And I was like, wow. At a private physician's office, for example, if you're going there, you're going there for your primary care and they refer you out to see a specialist where we see most of our specialties here. We have medical, dental, behavioral health, optometry, um, podiatry, acupuncture, we have a lab, we have a pharmacy that we're affiliated with. Now you have a walk-in center. It's like a one-stop shop for all your healthcare needs. My previous patients, you know, they had full mass health, they had full Medicare, whatever services they needed, they had. That's not the case for most of our patients. They have many more needs, um, they have much less support, so we're very much more involved in their care. If you're being seen here for medical, and um, one of the physicians recognizes that, you know, you have some dental issues going on, they're going to refer you upstairs. Whenever a patient comes in, it's automatically that we actually ask them about their social determinants of health, whether they need some housing, food insecurity, and we have the proper resources in the walk-in center within our facility to talk to a community health worker, social services, at the same time the patient is seen for their toe pain, for example. They all go hand in hand because if you don't have a good at-home life, like say if you're stressed out about not having food, you know, that may affect your high blood pressure, that might affect your nutrients, you do need the food. So the fact that we're realizing that all of those go hand in hand and that they all should be addressed, I think that's a beautiful thing that community health centers do. The most rewarding part about working here is the patients. The patients here really grab your heart. I like the continuity of care because I used to work for a doctor the last 10, 20 years that just did boobs and butts and hysterectomies. We saw the patient, we admitted the patient, and after that, see you later. You know, we never saw them again. This facility gives us the opportunity to um, assist the doctors in actually patient care. I love making people laugh, so just knowing that that patient or whoever that I'm talking to had a rough day and then just being able to make them laugh and forget about what they're going through for that split second is super rewarding for me. I have a much better work-life balance 
now than I ever did. I like the camaraderie of uh, the staff. Whenever there's a huge flow of patients, we're all there to help each other. Paternity leaves. They have also offered tuition reimbursement for us, as well as they have worked with me over the years to make to adjust my schedule so that I'm able to go to school, be a mom, and still work. Right? I went from working at the front desk and now I'm a medical manager. Um, I work with amazing people, um, work with amazing supervisor, co-worker, doctors. As of now, um, we did a renovation at the clinic, which is really nice. Um, hopefully, you know, go down there and check it out. Thank you, God. I'm just going to eye clinic. How may I help you? We have a big way to go in healthcare to make it accessible and fair for everyone. And community health centers like this really close that gap in a huge way and make things that are not typically accessible to everyone in the community really easy to get. Like we have acupuncture here and I don't even know where I would go to get acupuncture, which is really cool.